this is a quick guide on how to install car mods for GTA 4. So the first thing you want to do is find the GTA folder and make a backup of it. So, uh, this is just in case any of the mods cause any problems. You will have a copy of the original files to restore. So creating the backup is easy enough. Just copy and paste the folder wherever you like. So after you've made the backup, go to the GTA 4 mods website. Um, I'll put a link to the vehicle mod install then in the description. So just go ahead and download that. You might need a program to extract the files, so something like WinRAR um, would be ideal for this. I'll put a link to that as well. So once it's downloaded, open the folder and then find the setup file inside it and just drag it out so uh, just run the setup it shouldn't take too long to install what you have to do is keep clicking next and choose a directory in which you want to install it And just click finish when it's done, and you should be ready to go. Okay, so after you've downloaded and installed the vehicle mod installer, you want to download a car. So go back to the GTA 4 mods website and search for a car. And once you found one, um, just download it. And with each car in the description, there should be it should indicate which car it replaces in the game so just make a note of that so after you've downloaded the car you can run the GTA 4 vehicle mod installer when you open it you should see the path to the game if it's not there just browse for it find it manually click on browse at the bottom and find the car file which you downloaded earlier and click on open Click next after that, and then you should see these three green ticks. If you don't see these, something went wrong, go back and try it again. Click next. On this screen, just select which car will be replaced from the list and rename the car if you want. Then click next, and you should see a message saying that the inst installation was successful. And click on the main panel, and you should be done. So once you're in game, you should see the vehicle has been changed. There's just a couple of examples that I've done. Now what you need to be aware of is if you install too many mods, you'll get a taxi bug. Um, that's where every other car that you see in the game will be a taxi. So to avoid that, I would recommend installing a maximum of five car mods at a time. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments and I'll try to help you out if I can. Uh, thank you.